in many of the app you must have noticed a photo slider something like this if you take a note of this particular app the image gets slides one after the other basically from my end i'm not doing anything it is all happening by itself so how do you manage to create a such kind of photo slider and for that purpose android provides you a widget called view flipper so this particular widget view flipper will help you in providing a view that will be getting a transition after a particular time span so let's go to the inside story of this particular small app so here is my xml file i just have got one view flipper which you can see over here i have given the uh, parent the width of that particular view flipper if you see i've just mentioned is match parent the height i've given as 200 dp i wanted to bring it at the center center in parent i have given as true so and this has got an id over here that's much the only thing i've done now it has to produce a series of images so you need to keep these images and for that reason i have gone to the drawable folder inside the uh, areas you have the drawable folder and here i have kept all the images okay as we all know that when we store any image inside the uh, android application we have to create one integer type array because each image will be having an integer address and that will represent in the form of this integer array and these are all the five images that are already kept in the drawable folder which you just saw now when we come to the on create method the thing that need to be done is first initialize the view flipper reference variable in the form of v flipper and i have to give a call to a for loop now imagine that you don't know how many images are there uh, so how do you manage to generate this animation for all those images for that reason i have declared an integer variable i equals to zero i less than the name of the integer array dot length so it will count how many images are there accordingly it will keep on flipping and here i have written a custom function flip image which will be responsible for displaying a particular image and then go for a transition and there will be i plus plus so this loop will iterate each time and while iterating it will extract one image and will pass it to this function so let's go and check it out what this function is all about if you properly notice that this image has to go through a transition an animation effect has to be there so we start with this particular custom function here what i am doing this is my array this is the index so inside this array i have got the zeroth position i have got this particular image called a and it is passing me the address and that address comes to in this particular variable so basically i got track of the first image now in order to display the image in your app inside the view flipper you need to embed a static image view and that i have declared over here a static image view i have declared which is not having any image name at that point of time so i have to get the images from the set background resource because i have kept them in the drawable folder so set background resource i this will display the image array probably it will extract the image array and then it will uh, set inside my image view so image view now knows that which image it is going to portrait but it is not aware that this image will be displayed where and that where the view flipper comes in it has a method called add view inside that view you will give the reference of the image view object and that get embedded over here now how long you want to display the image depend upon your choice 4000 millisecond is the time interval that we have provided and as up to that time the image will stay and then there will be a transition this particular image transition will start automatically as the app gets started and that has been set to the feature called auto set auto start now if you notice this particular transition then you will find that over here there are two transitions are there slide in left that means when a next image comes it is sliding from the left side the image gets in and 
that's that's referred by set in animation and when the image is stepping out of the screen it is been used by the method called set out animation and over here the direction would be slide out right so this particular image is sliding out is having an illusion that it is sliding out of the right side and both of this animation i have taken the help from the android itself that provides by android.art.anim there are also different type of animation but i personally felt this two animation would be sufficient enough to display this image in the view flipper okay so that's all for this particular application i'm very sure that if you use this concept for any of your uh, gallery or any of your contacts i'm sure it will be pretty appealing okay so thank you so much for this video until my next video have a nice time